Welcome back. You're watching Times Now. Well, amid the raging hijab row, Karnataka Minister K.S. Ishwarappa has stoked a fresh controversy. In fact, he said that the saffron flag will replace the national flag in future. In fact, he said that India could become a Hindu nation very soon. Listen in to the shocker. Our health is there. Rashtra Dwaja Vanna Thakudu, Kesri Dwaja Haakudru. That's it. Our health is there. Our health is there. Kesri Dwaja Haar Sare Naam. Yuvatila Nala Kempu Kote Meilu Kuda. This country is there. Hindu Dharma. This country is there. This country is there. This country is there. This country is there. Kerana perbincangan ini, butra kita dengan berdua. Kempu kote melu kuda, nama ibu tiada nada, ibu tiada entah apa perbincangan. Ibu tu, Sri Varun Dwaja, Kerala 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 Kau dah? Kadu dua lagi. Hanya, yang dua kali dalam ini, nur rasa, nur ini nur rasa, nur itu nur rasa, nanti kalau bagua tu aja, rasa tu jahat bagus tu, kita ni nanti kalau macam ni ada orang buat, adik kita ni ada orang tu. Iga, na melu tu kuda, sami dana bantu lagi, tiga orang tu aja, nama rasa tu aja, entah apa pun dia be. Adik kau orang kau le beko, yang ada adik kau orang kau tetap pada orang rasa tu droh ya tanah. Well, let me go across to Imran Khan, who's joining us, as well as Deepak Bopanda. Well, Deepak, it's rather shocking. On one hand, India is today fighting about whether it's about uniformity, but then to put another spin and pushing it to this extent, that too by a very senior leader of the BJP, I'm sure even the party is not going to be accepting this, that there could be any flag in India above the Tiranga. Well, Meghna, as far as uh, K.S. Ishwarappa, the minister in Karnataka, is concerned, uh, he's not new to controversy and he, of course, has been known to have been ma continuously making provocative statements uh, in the past as well. But uh, probably because, you know, either the state uh, uh, leadership or the central leadership doesn't really take any sort of action against him and that's the reason he continues to make them. And this was, of course, uh, while uh, this issue has been raging on uh, the hijab, now he uh, makes this controversial remark that, uh, you know, one day or the other, uh, the saffron uh, flag will be hoisted at, at the Red Fort and towards the end, uh, you know, he adds that uh, for now uh, we have accepted the tricolor and we have to respect it. Now the question is, the Chief Minister uh, earlier in the day said that any organizations or anybody should not make any sort of controversial statements that could, uh, you know, ignite this issue further. Now the question is, what is he going to do about his own minister making these sort of statements and is he uh, going to give them the leeway to continue making it and get away with it? Well, let me go across uh, to Imran as well. Imran, any kind of reaction which may be coming in from the BJP? But before that, let me go across to Brijesh Kalapa of the Congress Party who is joining us. Brijesh Kalapa, now, of course, uh, Isha Rappa is not new to controversies. However, this is something which is completely unacceptable to say that there is any flag in India, be it religious or societal, which can possibly replace the Tiranga. No, one is unacceptable that a person like that who says that... Uh the national flag, not the national flag, but uh, some other flag, should be hoisted, uh, uh, you know, the red fort, is, uh, is, is absolute sedition. It, this is there's nothing short of sedition that comes and says such a thing, that uh, the national flag, which, is, uh, which has been accepted by everybody, which has been accepted by, by the Supreme Court, for such a flag now to be replaced by some other flag is nothing short of sedition. But also one has to go to the roots of all this, Mr. Ishwarapa is an RSS man, and the RSS, as you know, had never accepted the national flag. In fact, it took over 56 years mm -hmm. for the national flag to be hoisted by the RSS headquarters. So this is the second part. So one has to now think as to who are the real practitioners of sedition in this country, mm -hmm. and who are the ones who actually deserve to be... Uh, you know, sent to Pakistan. Mm -hmm. so these are the people... But don't you are, find uh, it ironic, Mr. Brijesh Kalapa, because BJP projects itself as a nationalist party and this goes against whatever that the top brass of the BJP has always spoken about and said that they have hailed as well as have highest regards for the Tiranga, like the Prime Minister himself. Naturally, but you've also seen the Prime Minister wipe his uh, face with uh, the Tiranga right. and the wife is spread off his bro with the Tiranga. So really, ultimately, one has to ask ourselves the question. Do people who are actually saying publicly that they like the Tiranga, but mm -hmm. not showing respect to it, 
are they really respecting it or are they, are they just playing with our sentiments? This is something which... That's an know, important uh, issue you've raised. Thank you so much, Mr. Brijesh Kalapai. Imran, the Congress now says that all this respect to Tiranga, which is shown by the BJP, is this statement coming in from Ishwarapa reflective of the real stance? In fact, Brijesh Kalapa has gone to the extent of saying that this is seditious. Uh, any word from the BJP? Any kind of defense? Well, they, uh, some some of the BJP leaders have distanced themselves from Ishrappa, saying that it's his own personal view. But uh, as far as any official, uh, if you say that on record, any uh, uh, comment on that has not come from any of these uh, senior leaders of the party here. Uh, but Ishrappa, he also says in the same inst same bite that you know, as far as now is concerned, is that uh, tricolor is our national flag and we have to respect it. And uh, anybody who speaks against the national flag, he should be considered as a traitor. As far as the Bhagwa flag, he said that. Just like how now Hindus and Hindutva has come into prominence, like people used to say that laugh. He says that people used to laugh at us when we said that Ram Mandir and Ayodhya would be in, uh, will be constructed someday. Uh, people used to laugh at us in a similar way. Bhagwat Dhaj can become a national flag in probably 100 years, 200 years, or 500 years. He says that it could become a reality, uh, like other things are becoming a reality now. But he also, in the same uh, instance, says that uh, you know the f one day he wants to see the Bhagwat Dhaj on the red fort. Also, but he also says that you know tricolor is the national flag now we have to respect it and anybody who does, doesn't respect tricolor is a is a uh, is a is a is a considered should be considered as a traitor so but however he's he dreams of that Bhagwan right. Raj one day will become will we fly high on Red Fort and uh, Congress is latching on to the statement and saying that this is seditious, demanding action from the BJP against him. Well, we'll have to wait and see. It is going to be the state leadership of the BJP on test if they are going to take action against their own mantri. Thank you so much, Deepak, as well as the, uh, Imran for putting that into perspective.